All right guys, today I'm at the Jersey Shore in Long Beach Island, a really popular vacation destination where I'm actually gonna be meeting up with the Terrapin Nesting Project to volunteer in their release of baby diamondback terrapins. I'm really excited about it and uh, we're gonna be there in just a few minutes. All right, this is Kathy, CEO of the Terrapin Nesting Project. What is this thing you have behind you and what are we gonna be doing here? When I first founded the project in 2011, we had to actually pull nests from people's properties and take them up to a hatchery. And then in 2016, sand was dropped on this property so that we could actually bring the terrapins here and have them naturally nest. It's the only turtle I've ever worked with that you can actually move them when they're in the process of nesting and they'll drop their eggs instead of running away from you. Every basket here indicates that there's a nest here. The hatchlings have a habit lately of not wanting to come out when they're ready. So I'm just gonna go in and check a couple of the nests and see if there are any hatchlings ready to come out. All right, Enjoy let's see me. if there's any hatchlings. Yes. Now, the nest should actually be dead center where the cage was because we're very meticulous about placing the cage around the center. Lead with your middle finger. Your middle finger drops. Yep. Until you can feel. Oh, I feel something right there. The yeah. You just pop through. Huh, you just found the nest. Pull back. Gently pull back. Oh, you got a shell right there. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, look, there's one right there. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Wow. Yay. Oh. And they're just, they're all still coming out. Oh, they're there's a little guy. Okay. Let's go. I'm sorry, am I nearby here? Yeah, a little lazy. Little lazy kids, come on, come on, kids. He's a fat one. <laughs> You're yeah. the fattest one. Tell him he's fat. Long Just enough. Just tell him he's he's sturdy. He's sturdy. sturdy. He's sturdy. <laughs> hey, kiddos. Yeah, they you can do come well. in. Really fast. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in here, and then I'm gonna fill the hole, and then I'm gonna take a picture of him. Two. This is another 613. Oh, I feel it right there. Ready? Look at these guys. Oh, Look at me! Oh my fit. gosh! Come on, let me out! They're ready. Let me out! Should we start plucking them? You can pluck. It's a lot of turtles. Yes, it is. All right, so Kathy. Yes. What is this room? What are we doing in here? We're in the turtle room right now. Okay. Um, once the turtles have hatched, we bring them into this room and we put them in various different bins. And everything has to be marked because we want to make sure we have the number released that we actually hatch. The turtles in here are being hydrated. They hydrate 24 to 48 hours. Then we put them in the little buckets and we take them out and give them to the families and we tuck them in the marshes. Now these have only been in here since 8.22, so they're ready to go this morning. So this is actually the third day. Super cool. Okay. Let's take a look in these tanks here. And these two, we will be filling these up by the end of the day because we're gonna have a lot more hatchlings today. That's really cool. Yeah. We need two, two buckets. Two of 13 each. Okay. From this, um, this is the last to go because these only went in here yesterday. This one is stunning. This is like this my one. favorite color phase you know, or whatever, is when they have those thick black rings on the white. Yeah. Since this is a research project, we have to keep track of every single turtle that we touch. So after we have released the turtles, after we've taken them out of the tubs and released them, we have to document every single place that we put them. We can't dump these turtles all in one place. We have to disperse them throughout, up and down the coast. So we have another log here that we mark exactly how many turtles we have released in what location and who does it. So if there does happen to be an issue, we can actually go back to the people that have done it. All right, to the release site. How many cars do I have behind me? Oh, that's Mimi. That's Mimi with the turtle dog. 
That's the turtle dog. That's what does the turtle dog do? What does he do? It smells she for hatchlings? Smell or? hatchlings. Oh my gosh. She can wow. find them. That's amazing. Yes. Alright, check this out guys, this is so cool. Look at this. Look at these adorable little guys. Ooh, it's clawing me. Put them back in their bin here. We're gonna bring them down to the water in just a minute. All right, so right now we're on our way down to the marsh with the baby turtles and we're gonna be releasing them in just a couple minutes here. Uh, super awesome. We've got tons of young volunteers around, um, so this should be pretty cool. All right, so that was a lot of fun. But after all that fun, let's okay. talk about why we're doing this. So why do you guys do what you do with these terrapins? Okay, besides the fact that it is a lot of fun, there's a really basic need for the conservation of these turtles. Habitat loss is a big deal. Um, also, vehicular mortality, the predation, poaching. Believe it or not, poaching is a big issue. These are the only turtles that can actually survive in brackish or fresh water, which makes them very popular on the pet trade. Those are some of the key reasons that we do this. We've got to keep the population healthy. Right. Well, hopefully with all the great work that they've been doing, we're going to see a brighter future for these turtles here at the Jersey Shore. Thanks so much for having me today. I had a really great time and um, got an awesome shirt. I'm going to put the link for this shirt in the description as well as all their social media, their website, and how you guys can get involved. And uh, for the viewers, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.